All right guys, Dylan here, and today we're gonna review surface cleaner tips and how to size them, what, the, what all these numbers mean, and how to pick the right tip for your setup. So first off, you're always gonna have some sort of thread size call out, and this is just the male thread on the back that allows it to screw into your surface cleaner bar. And just a quick note, you always want this slot running parallel with your bar so that's going to allow your surface cleaner to rotate correctly and clean at its peak efficiency. So next, we'll talk about this five-digit code. If you've talked to any pressure washing veterans and asked them about tips, they'll always probably spout off a quick five-digit code. So what this actually means is the first two digits are going to be your tip angle. And that just shows what spray pattern you're going to have out of that tip. So in this case, we have 25, which is represents a 25 degree angle coming out of there and then next you'll pretty much always have a zero and the last two digits are going to be your orifice size so this is the actual hole size which controls how much pressure you get at the exit as well as the back pressure on your pump so it's really important to get this correct so that way you're not damaging the surface as well as not putting too much back pressure and causing premature wear on your pump. So real quick, just a couple different examples. So 25 degrees basically means from this line to this line, you're going to have 25 degrees. And they have 15, 0 degrees, and also 40 degree, which I don't see a whole lot of. But we always use 25 degrees. It's just been a good balance for us as far as efficiency. So the reason we use that instead of like 15 is that you're covering more surface area. So you can see this is a wider area that's being cleaned with each single pass as that surface cleaner bars are rotating around. So if you went with something like a 15 or zero, you'd be having to move a lot, lot slower with the surface cleaner. So just for a quick example too, I grabbed a screenshot off Tool Barn, which we actually use them quite a bit for our surface cleaner tips. I just found that they have probably the best selection from General Pump. So in this example, they have a 25070 tip and it's a 25 degree seven orifice size tip. So exactly what we just talked about. I'm not actually sure why they have the nine here. I think that's just their product part number. But again, you have the 25 degree and then the 7 orifice size. So let's check out a couple examples. Example 1, we have our Predator pressure washer combined with a General Pump 18 inch surface cleaner. This is actually the exact setup that we recommend to start with. This is what we started with and it was great for us. But, so this pressure washer is 4.2 GPM, 4400 PSI. And the surface cleaner has two nozzles and it's 18 inches. So how do we actually go about sizing these tips? Assuming that maybe it didn't come with some or they're worn or they're not the correct size from the factory. Let's take a look at this chart which is provided by Ultimate Washer. I did not make this chart. I'll link it down below. So with this chart, all you have to do is come down and look at your GPM which we just mentioned was 4.2, so rough, roughly four. And then how many nozzles do you have on your surface cleaner? We have two in this case. So find that column, and then we're right at the 2.5 orifice size to get 2200 PSI. So guys, we're always looking somewhere around the 2000 PSI mark for actual cleaning. That's just what we found to be the most effective for concrete. So in this case, I would order 25, 0, 25 tips just because we prefer the 25 degree spray pattern and the 2.5 orifice size gets us the correct pressure. So let's look at a second example. Say you've been in the business for a couple years and you upgraded to an 8 GPM. Well, now you got yourself a 30. 30 inch surface cleaner with four nozzles on the actual spray bar. So same principle, come down, look at your chart. 
got 8 GPM and then we have the 4 nozzle column and again aiming around that 2000 PSI category so 2.5 is our orifice size and we would actually want 25025 025 nozzles again so that's just two quick examples of finding the right size but obviously you can use this chart for pretty much any combination of gallons per minute and number of nozzles and just to give you guys a quick overview of the page that I have linked in the description so you can see the first part actually covers normal nozzles so this is basically what you'd be using on the end of your spray gun and we have a separate video covering how to use this chart with a couple examples and then on this page they also have a cool diagram that shows you the difference in spread for 0, 15, 25, and 40 degree fan tips and that's really highlighting the importance of going with something like a 25 degree for the extra efficiency over like a 15 or 0. If you keep scrolling down you'll get to the surface cleaning nozzle recommendations. So this is the exact chart that we used in the previous demonstration just to show you guys and this goes all the way from 4 GPM down to 20 GPM so you really should never outgrow this chart <laughs> and it pretty much wraps it up for this video so if you guys have any questions feel free to drop those in the comments below I will try to get those answered as quickly as possible thank you